Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnus, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs, where apparently we have a sheep in our old home. So I, uh, I went through the tunnel down below for a little bit and then I decided to come back up because it's time to make an episode and I don't have a whole lot of time today, I have to run and catch a train, but we're gonna do some interesting stuff today anyway. We won't be naming a dinosaur, but we are going to go through our current animals and go over their names, who they are, who named them, etc, etc. Please get out of my house, sheep. Oh my gosh, what are you doing here? Anyway, so I came back to um, my home to get a couple of things. I wanted to get this ancient helmet to show that off, and the ancient sword. I also got some tablets, and yes. Alright, so let's go ahead and get out of here. So what I wanted to do today, after throwing the, uh, the meat that we found downstairs in the cave into the analyzer was I also wanted to use the analyzer to use it on the tablets. I've been getting a lot of my subscribers telling me to put the tablets in the analyzer and and I know that I can do that, I think. Yeah, so we're, we're gonna see if this becomes what I think it's going to become. So we're just gonna wait for just a second here and... Gravel. Wonderful. Um. Let's put two more in there, and let's put this in here, I guess, and why not put three of these in here, and two over here. Yes, we have many analyzers, because this this takes a while, and who who really wants to wait on such things? There we go, stone tablet. Okay, so we got a stone tablet. We're gonna go check that out. Uh, what did I... what is... just raw beef? Wonderful. Run to, blah, blah, blah. Wonderful. Some other things to look at. This helmet. I never wore this, I think, on our channel, but there you go. There's there's the helmet. We'll look at this in F5. Can't... There we go. Yeah, it covers my eyes completely. It's a, sort of a strange-looking helmet, I guess. Eh. I have no idea if this... Actually, let's, let's check that. Let's see, we're missing two and a half right now. And if we switch it out... Nope, it's exactly the same as the Iron Helmet. Well, there you go. Iron is the same as the Ancient Helmet. If it does something special, you guys should let me know, because I... I don't know if it does anything special. This, this of course, you guys have seen this before, and we're gonna go outside and check that out. But first, let's see... Triceratops DNA. We have Triceratops eggs, but uh... And yeah, that's that's it. Okay, that was that was fairly not very exciting, but that's okay. Da -da -da. All right, so we're going to also grab these javelins. Wait, where did I? Javelins in here, right? Yes, there it is. Okay, ancient javelin. There we go. So we're gonna go check out. Maybe if I wear the helmet and use the ancient sword or javelin at the same time, maybe it does something special. I don't know about that. Hello, Hachiko. Where Where is a sheep? Ah, oh, there's a sheep over there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. And... For those of you who have, are somewhat new to the series and you haven't seen the episode where I used this sword in the past, prepare yourselves. <laughs> it's uh, it's a, a little bit frightening. Actually, I, I don't want to use it here because everything might... Yeah, let's let's use it on this sheep over here. It's safer, right? And ah, yeah. So that's the ancient sword for you, right there. Um, everything. <laughs> Have to put out the fire after you use it. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a little bit crazy. Just a little bit crazy. And let's see, ancient javelins. Really don't want to kill my dinosaurs by accident, so... Ah, there's there's a cow over there somewhere. So let's go use that. This is basically sort of a review episode to show off the things that we have gotten in this mod so far. And to uh, show off a few things that I haven't shown you before. I don't think wearing the helmet is doing anything significant. Alright, let's... And fire! Oh. So... Yes. And then you can pick it back up again. Ah! 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 We're on fire! Crap! Crap! Eat the bread! Eat the bread! <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, no. That's... Ah, sigh. Put out the fire. Okay, we're good. We're good. 
no no worries no worries um right <laughs> All right, so we've we've gone over the ancient javelin and the ancient sword. They're very dangerous. Please use extreme caution when using these at home. I am not a trained professional, but you should pretend I am anyway. Let's uh let's go ahead and build a little wall right here, I guess. And we're going to see if we can put this tablet here. Ugh. 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 All right, there we go. That should be plenty of space to put our tablet. Stone tablet. Let's see what sort of things this can give us. Now, this has been broken in other versions of the mod, so... Can I even place it? What the heck? Hello? I... I can't place it, you say? Maybe? I don't understand. Can I only place it on wood? I really don't understand. I'm so confused. Can I not place it on stone? I should be able to place it on stone, right? Let's see if I can place it on my tree over here. Because my tree's pretty big. No? Uh... Here? No? All right. Um. So apparently, I can't place my stone tablet. I'm very confused. I thought that I could place these. If you know what's going on, please let me know below in the comments, because I would like to see these beautiful stone tablets. Hopefully, it's not a bug in this version of the mod. That would that would really suck, actually. All right. So <laughs> there's that. And I guess we should go around and show off our dinosaurs, because some of you in the comments are continually saying to name certain dinosaurs certain things. And we've already named most of our dinosaurs at this point, so we're just going to go around and check out our dinosaurs. Hello. This is Odysseus. Odysseus is a plesiosaur. An orange plesiosaur, in fact. He's a cute little guy. And I've been told that you can die plesiosaurs. Can we really die plesiosaurs? I don't want to run up into my treehouse and grab some die right now to find out but please let me know if you know tell me below in the comments can we die plesiosaurs i would like to have a purple plesiosaur perhaps because it sounds fun so that's odysseus this is our wheat farm how i get my my bread delicious bread here is our cow farm cow orgy as well as our chicken farm this is where i get all of my eggs to throw at cows and uh this is how we feed all of our carnivorous dinosaurs in fact our first dinosaur actually was a T-Rex. He's absolutely huge. His name is Bartholomew. Bartholomew was named by me, not by a subscriber. And in retrospect, maybe that was a little bit mean of me. Maybe I should have given my subs the chance. Hello. Do you want to say hi? Hello, Bartholomew. Are you doing okay? Yeah. Yeah, you, you look like you're doing fine. Yeah, you're, you're really loud, Bartholomew. He's really big. He's, he's really big. Eventually, if we get Scarab Gems, we'll see if we can tame him. But, uh, for now, probably not. Alright, and of course you guys probably noticed when I was running around. These are the two mammoths that I have at the moment. I think I have some more mammoth DNA, but I haven't really used it much yet. I'm not sure which one is which, but one is female. Her name is Octavia, named by Bobby G. The other is Hephaestus, the male mammoth, named by Mr. True Mexican 120, I believe was the number after his name. And of course, we can't forget over here with their little brick house, my first friend, actually, my first animal, I believe. His name is Charles. He's the red sheep. If you can come, okay, come here, Charles. Charles, come here. So Charles, he's doing cool. The pink sheep was an extra sheep we added because Charles and uh, the a white sheep seemed to be doing pretty well together. They were pretty friendly. So I put them in together. They've settled down. Maybe I'll make them a garage one day for their car. Maybe they'll have a baby one day. I'm not sure. You know, cost of tuition at the moment, pretty high. So let's let's save on having children for now. But that's Strawberry, named by Suding. This is Hachiko. Or Hachi, named by the Kodiak 411. 
I forget her username because she also sent me a message on Facebook telling me what to name the dog. You should totally go like our Facebook group if you haven't already. We had another dog, a female dog named Vixen, named by Aerofrost, but she seems to have completely disappeared and no one knows where she is at all. So that's pretty depressing. There's our culture vat thing because I haven't made an underground base yet. I'm, I'm really upset about this stone tablet. I wanted I wanted to see the cool things. Do do I have to do something in here? Maybe. No. Do I need a lot of them and put them together? Is that what I need? I don't know. I have no idea. Over here is Vladimir, named by Sydney Hewajima. Vladimir is a very cool dinosaur. He's a Dilophosaur. If I hit him, he'll probably spit some junk on me and make me blind. Yes, hello. Pet pet. And it's getting dark, so I'm a little bit worried about creepers and such, but we have the ancient sword, so we shouldn't be that worried. Go freaking cows walking on our walls, I swear to god. In here, I don't believe there should be any skeletons or any such nonsense. We have Balthazar. Balthazar is a saber cat. We have another saber cat, actually. Well, we don't have it yet, but we have the embryo. Balthazar was named by Megatito5000. Thank you very much, Megatito. Balthazar is an awesome name. Who else do we have? We have three more creatures over this way. Let's see if we can get over here without dying to something. We have the yet unnamed Brachiosaur. He's very cute. He hasn't yet grown a growth stage, I don't think. He's a very cool looking dinosaur. Indeed, sauropods were some of my favorite dinosaurs. The largest land creatures to ever walk the face of the earth. I appreciate that they existed because they were huge. Mostly. If you know a name or want to name this Brachiosaur or something, please let me know below in the comments. We'll probably be naming the Brachiosaur or the Stegosaurus over here next episode. Assuming the Stegosaurus has not died. Where are you, Stegosaurus? Unnamed Stegosaurus? Please don't tell me you're dead. Uh, Crap. <laughs> um... Alright, so it... It seems that our Stegosaurus may have died. May have died. Or disappeared. Or something. He had plenty of food! <laughs> what? Where did our Stegosaurus go? Um... Alright, that's depressing. So, Stegosaurus disappeared, but uh... Oh, there's a, a skeletal archer over there. Let's go this way. And we have one more creature to show off here among the sheep. Hello? Ah, uh, there he is. So this is Poseidon. You can't see him very well at the moment because it's nighttime, but Poseidon was named by Alex, Spencer, and Dinoboy34. They all suggested the same name in the same episode. So... Oh, crap. Yeah, you can, you can sort of see Poseidon down there as a dark shape if you can see this. Uh, let's, let's turn up the, uh, the brightness, actually, so that you can see this. Where were his brightness video settings? I've never done this before. Sound? Light? Where is light? I don't understand. Brightness, here we go. Yeah, let's turn this up to bright. Okay, done. Done. Back to game. Yeah, you can probably see him much better now. So there's our Mosasaur. Wow, there is a lot of ink. Look at all that ink. Holy crap. I don't want to stay here too long because Mosasaurs are not tameable and they will attack you and try to eat you. And clearly he's been eating all of the freaking squid in this lake. Look at all that ink. Holy crap, man. You are huge. Ow, ow, ow. Why are you hurting me? I'm not even close to you. Shh. Oh, creeper. Dow. Oh. It's it's okay. It's fine. We We have javelin. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's charged. It's a charged creeper. Oh no. <laughs> no. 
Oh, sweet mother of God, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, no. Get back. Get back. Ah! Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. He's dead. Everything is on fire, but it's all- Okay, yeah, someone told me don't use the ancient sword on a creeper. You'll make a charged creeper. And I didn't listen. Ugh, skeletons. I don't care about this fire. Let's- let's get out of here. Let's go- go back to our home and go to sleep. So, th the currently alive unnamed dinosaurs and creatures at the moment, I guess since the stegosaur is now dead, only includes the brachiosaur as well as... Oh, hello, Enderman. Are you freaking out? Yeah, is it only the brachiosaur then? I guess so? Maybe, maybe my brain is just dying. But yeah, apparently we need to get another Stegosaurus, and actually, while we're here, since we have a little bit of time left, since the Stegosaurus died, we are going to have an extra dinosaur in this episode, because I know that we have eggs of Triceratops, and Stegosaurus actually. So let's go ahead and turn the Stegosaurus enclosure into a Tricer- wait, 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 we should go to sleep, yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn the Stegosaurus enclosure into a Triceratops enclosure, and hopefully the Triceratops doesn't die. Man, why, why can't I use my stone tablets? I wanted to use my stone tablets and check out the cool, the cool art. Despite the fact that it would probably bug out and glitch out and be all black and stuff, but, eh. Wee sprinting. Uh, what happened to our stegosaurus? I'm so sad. Oh, alright, so. Fear not, the stegosaurus may be dead, but the triceratops, it will live. Here we go, triceratops. And now we get to wait a few minutes and talk about stuff. Some important stuff. We have now officially reached 3,000 subscribers and over, over 3,100 actually. Probably going to hit 4,000 in about a week. And, guys, thank you so much for joining us here on my channel. You guys are amazing. I would not have anywhere near as much motivation to make these episodes daily if you guys weren't around. For those of you who only watch Minecraft Dinosaurs, and I know there are a lot of you since my Minecraft Dinosaurs videos get thousands and thousands of views, while my other series, such as Kerbal Space Program and Faster Than Light, only get 1,000, maybe 2,000 at maximum. You guys should totally go check out my other series. They're very, very, very amazing games. I support Squad in their making of Kerbal Space Program all the way and hope one day to actually have them acknowledge me and talk to me as a human being. They would probably make my entire life. But, uh, I mean, other than going to Mars, I think. I think that would make my entire life. But, so there's that. We're growing and very quickly making our way towards being able to financially support ourselves entirely on YouTube revenue because I refuse to partner. We've gotten lots of partnership offers, but honestly, the best one has been 30% revenue cut, and I'm not cool with that at all. So, until further notice, we're going to continue getting permission for all the games that we play, or only play games where the developers and publishers have given permission to monetize gameplay footage. So, don't expect me to be playing any games like Battlefield or Call of Duty or anything like that, because first of all, I don't really like those games anyway, and second of all, because I really don't feel like getting a, a partnership so that I can bypass the automatic content ID system and worries only, only slightly less about copyright infringement. So, we shall stay independent. Independence, I say. Freedom. Freedom is good. Never give up your freedom, etc., etc. And Triceratops, I swear, if you don't hurry up and hatch. 87%. Okay, we're, we're cool with that. We're cool with Triceratops being at 87%. Other things to talk about? My February revenue report is still up. You guys should go check out our sister channel, Real Life Magnius, and check out that because February's income was pretty amazing. And March's income is going to be even more amazing. I've already, at this point, what is today? The 10th? The 10th here in Seoul, so the 9th over in the US. Hello, Triceratops. You are adorable. You are a very strange green color. You look like you're sick. 
We've almost surpassed February's income already, one third of the way through March, and March has three more days, I believe, than February, so I, I do think that we're going to be on our way to making a lot more revenue via YouTube. And it's all because of you guys and your support, and nothing, nothing I can ever say can thank you enough. Thank you so much for joining us, thank you so much for supporting me, for liking Facebook, sharing with your friends and family, etc, etc. You guys are awesome. And I love you all. And I will continue to talk to as many of you as possible in the comments below, as well as YouTube messages and Facebook messages via our Facebook group. Go and like it, please. Thank you very much. And that's about all we're going to do for today's episode. If you have a name for this little triceratops, let me know below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Megnius, and I will see you next time.